أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم We're going to pick up with the series of uh, the prophets عليهم الصلاة والسلام stories uh, We had covered uh, Prophet Adam uh, Then uh, Prophet uh, Idris And uh, therefore Prophet Nuh عليه الصلاة والسلام Uh, we then completed the Prophet uh, Lut alayhi salatu wassalam, the Prophet Hud. And now we're on to Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam and uh, Ismail alayhi salatu wassalam. Uh, very important to note that Prophet Ibrahim in, in Islam is second prophethood wise. Uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam says to the meaning that every prophet had Uh, the mentor and my mentor is the friend of Allah Ibrahim Khalilullah and we will get to uh, where the title Khalilullah came from uh, certainly somewhere along the way but uh, for now we're going to pick up from page number 89 Ibn Abbas uh, radiallahu anhu narrated the first lady to use a Uh, a, a girl was the mother of Ismail. She used this so that she might hide her tracks from Sarah. By dragging it, Abraham brought her and her son Ismail while he was suckling to a place near the Kaaba under a tree on or where the Kaaba is today, under a tree on the spot of Zamzam. At the highest place in the mosque. During those days, there was nobody in Makkah, nor was there any water so he made them sit over there and placed near them a leather bag containing some dates and a small water skin containing some water and set out homeward ismail's mother followed him saying oh abraham where are you going leaving us in this valley where there is no person whose company We may enjoy, nor is there anything to enjoy. She repeated that to him many times, but he did not look back at her. Then she asked him, Has Allah ordered you to do so? He said, Yes. She said, Then he will not neglect us and returned while Ibrahim proceeded onward. On reaching the Thaniya where they could not see him, he faced the Qibla and, raising both hands, invoked Allah Jalla Jalaluhu, saying, O oh, our Lord, I have made some of my offspring dwell in a valley without cultivation. By your scarce house the Kaaba, and order our Lord, O oh, our Lord, that they may offer prayers perfectly. So fill some hearts among men with love towards them, and O oh, Allah, provide them with fruits so that they may give thanks. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu's narration continues, Ismail's mother went on suckling Ismail and drinking from the water she had. When the water in the water skin had all been used up, she became thirsty and her child also became thirsty. She started looking at him, tossing in agony. She left him for she could not endure looking at him any longer and found that the mountain of Asafa was the nearest mountain to her on that land. She stood on it and started looking at the valley keenly so that she might see somebody, but she could not see anybody. Then she descended from Asafa and when she reached the valley, she tucked up her robe and ran in the valley like a person in distress and trouble. The till she crossed the valley and reached the mountain of al Marwa. There she stood uh, and started looking, expecting to see somebody, but she saw no one. She repeated that, uh, run, meaning running back and forth between Safa and Marwa seven times. The Prophet wasallam said this is the source of the tradition of the Sai, which is the going of the people between the Safa and Marwa. When she reached Al Marwa for the last time, she heard a voice and she asked herself to be quiet and listen attentively. She heard that voice again and said, Oh, whoever you may be, you have made me hear your voice. Have you got something to help me? And behold, she saw an angel at the place of Zamzam digging the earth with his heel or his wing. 
till water flowed from that place. She started to make something like a basin around it, uh, using her hand in this way and started filling her water skin with water with her hands and the water flowing out uh, after she had scooped some of it. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam added, May Allah jalla jalaluhu bestow mercy on Ismail's mother Hajar had she let the zamzam flow without trying to control it. Or had she not scooped from that water to fill her water skin, zamzam would have been a stream flowing on the surface of the earth. Subhanallah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam continued, Then she drank the water and suckled her son. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid of being neglected, for this is the house of Allah, Jalla Jalaluhu, which will be built by this boy and his father. And Allah Jalla Jalaluhu never neglects his people. The house of Kaaba at that time was on a high place resembling a hillock. And when torrents came, they flowed in its right and left torrent and uh, yeah so this is where they were going to build it she lived in that way till some people from the tribe of Jurhum or a family from Jurhum passed by her and her child as they the people of Jurhum were coming through the way of Kada they landed in the lower part of Mecca where they saw a bird that had the habit of flying around water and not leaving it They said this bird must be flying around water, though we know that there is no water in this valley. They sent one or two messengers who discovered the source of water and returned to inform them of the water source. So they all came towards that water source. Ismail's mother was sitting near the water. They asked her, do you allow us to stay with you? She replied, yes, but you will have no right to possess this water. They agreed to that. Ismail's mother was pleased with the whole situation as she used to love to enjoy the company of the people. So they settled there and later on they sent for their families uh, who came and settled with them so that some families became permanent residents there. Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam grew up and learned Arabic from them and his virtues. Uh, caused them to love and admire him as he grew up. And when he reached the age of puberty, they made him marry a woman from amongst them. The Prophet ﷺ continued after Ismail's mother ﷺ passed away. Abraham came after Ismail's marriage in order to see his family that he had left before. Yet he did not find Ismail uh, there. When he asked Ismail's wife about him, she replied, He has gone in search of our livelihood. Then he asked her about their way of living and their condition, and she replied, We are living in misery. We are living in hardship and destitution, complaining to him. He said, When your husband returns, convey my salutation to him and let him know to change the threshold of the gate of his house. Upon returning, Ismail والسلام, came and he seemed to have felt something unusual, so he asked his wife, Has anyone visited you? She replied, Yes, an old man on such and such and gave description, came and asked me about you and I informed him. And he asked about our state of living and I told him that we were living in hardship and poverty. On that Ismail والسلام, said, did he advise you anything? She replied, yes. He told me to convey his salutations to you and to tell you to change the threshold of your gate. Ismail said, it was my father Ibrahim والسلام, And he has ordered me to divorce you, to give you your divorce, go back to your family. So Ismail divorced her and married another woman from among the people of Jurhum. 
Then Abraham stayed away from them for a period as long as Allah wished, uh, decreed rather, and called on them again, but did not find Ismail. So he came to Ismail's wife and asked her about Ismail. She said he has gone in search of our livelihood. Abraham asked her, how are you getting on? Asking about her sustenance and living. She replied, we are prosperous or we are prosperous and well off we have everything in abundance then she thanked allah jalla jalaluhu abraham said what alayhi salatu wasalam said what kind of food do you eat she said meat he said what do you drink she said water he said oh allah bless their meat and water the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam added at that time they did not have grain and if they had grain, he would have also invoked Allah Jalla Jalaluhu to bless it. If somebody has only these two things as his sustenance, his health and disposition will be badly affected unless he lives in Makkah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam continued, And Abraham said to Ismail, his wife, When your husband comes, give my regard to him and tell him that he should keep firm the threshold of his gate. When Ismail والسلام, returned, he asked his wife, Did anyone come to you? She replied, Yes, a good looking old man came to me. So she praised him and added, He asked about you, and I informed him. And he asked about our livelihood, and I told him that we were in good condition. Ismail asked, Did he give you any piece of advice? She said, Yes. He told me to give his regard to you and ordered that you should keep firm the threshold of your gate. On that Ismail والسلام, replied, it was my father and you are the threshold, meaning that gate. He has ordered me to keep you with me. Then Abraham stayed away from them for a period as long as Allah wished. And he called on them afterwards. He saw Ismail under a tree near the zamzam sharpening his arrows uh, inshallah we will we will stop here at uh, the beginning of uh, page uh, 94 uh please do uh, feel free very importantly to uh look into the legendary military ideology of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam after going over his uh, career and uh, his legacy uh, with uh, the era of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu. Uh, the era of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu and the legendary uh, military government uh, in which uh, Sayyidina Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu uh, khilaf uh, and moving on to uh, the empire of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's legacy with Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan. Only coming to an end uh, with his martyrdom and uh, we are now on the series of uh, the ideology, the military mil- military ideology of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the era of uh, Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu. Uh, do not hesitate also to, to like, uh, share and subscribe and uh, we look forward to having uh, future uh, videos in terms of the series of the prophets alayhi salatu wassalam subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika tabaraka asma rabbika ta'ala jadduka wa la ilaha ghayruk wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-ali al-azim subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen